Hello and welcome to the show. We are back for race six of the season. It's the Spanish Grand Prix coming from the Circuit de Catalunya. Weird track, the Circuit de Catalunya. Hard one to set up for. It's a real mix of long straights and then high speed and low speed corners. So it's going to be a difficult one for us. We have also had a part fail. The R&D, our uh, aero package failed. So we have been overtaken by Alfa Romeo. Haas were already above us, as were Alfa Tauri uh, and everyone else except Williams. We are the second lowest team now in terms of performance, or expected performance at least. Only ahead of Williams. If we look at the R&D we've got in place though, we've got three upgrades for the next race at Monaco, which uh, is a chassis upgrade, a durability upgrade, and that aerodynamics part that failed for me. Um, I've also just put into place, um, or just started development on the, the powertrain upgrade at the bottom, but that's not going to be here for a few weeks yet. So, I'm not sure how this one's going to go. It's been a wet practice, or practice two and practice three were wet. Practice one wasn't, it was dry. We've got some running in then. Um, but it's not a track I'm too familiar with. I think the AI are very good round here, so yeah, let's get on qualifying and I'll uh, give my best shot and see what we can do. I don't really know what to expect from this track this weekend, um, it's a difficult one. As I said in the intro, I'm not too familiar with the track. And I haven't had much practice because of the uh, rain. Well, I've had practice, I've kind of got to know the track, but not in dry conditions. I don't know how the car really behaves around here. I don't know what gears to be in and how fast I can take corners because I've been, uh, I've been driving on wets for all of practice two and all of practice three. So as you can see, I'm a bit all over the place, a bit out of sorts with the track. I'm not expecting too much from this qualifying session, but I'm hoping that I'll kind of get used to the track as the race goes on. I'm hoping there'll be some overtaking opportunities as well. One big problem with that is I can't nail that chicane. An ultimate corner there. I just can't seem to nail it. And the problem with that is that when I'm then uh, when I'm then coming onto the straight, I'm not carrying the momentum I should be carrying off that bend. And that's gonna mean that A, I'm a sitting duck down the straight, the other car's gonna have a good run at me, but B, and probably more importantly, I can't There's only one lap overtake, or I'll struggle to overtake, I should say, because I'm not getting the run off that corner because I can't nail or off the final corner onto the straight, but I'm not getting the run off the final corner because I can't nail the chicane before it. Um, we're just cruising around, cruising back to the uh, pit lane here, so I'll cut back to me in the pit. We are definitely going to need to go out again because it's only George Russell and Guan Yu Zhou who are slower than us, although they are quite a bit slower than us. Everyone's now set their first lap and uh, as you can see I need to improve by about three tenths of a second to get into the next round. That's doable, we made a couple of mistakes on that lap. So whack on a fresh set of softs and uh, get back out there. And I do need to improve by at least three tenths of a second but that should be doable. Um, I did make a couple of mistakes in that first run. Just can't get that chicane right. That does compromise me the whole way down this straight. Down on my previous time. Well, this isn't going well. I'm already half a second down, so. And I made another mistake there. Yeah, this, that's going to be it. 
that's going to be it. It's going to be qualifying over. On then to what promises to be another fascinating yeah, Spanish. Yeah, no, we Before we begin, let's take a quick Let's look the at the grid lineup. lineup for today's race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position, and Valtteri Bottas will line up alongside. As we continue so through the rest of the grid pole. today, we have Leclerc, Verstappen, Sebastian Vettel, and Perez, Ricardo, Norris, Sainz, and Lance Stroll, Ocon, Gasly, Daniel Kvyat and Raikkonen, Grosjean, Albon. They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. One Kevin to 80. Magnussen and Stewart, Russell, Latifi, Joe, and Antonio Two, Giovinazzi one, starts from the back Antonio of the grid. Giovinazzi. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track and get this Grand Prix underway. Okay, so we're definitely going to one stop. It's clearly a lot quicker, just just by 15 seconds. Two stop. Um, I would assume all of the AI are going to one stop as well. Uh, but let's hope they don't. In fact, is there any way of making that any faster? Um. I might come in a lap earlier. It's saying it's it's less than a tenth of a second slower, and it will give me the chance of an undercut. Yeah, let's do that. Let's come in a lap earlier, so we're going to put on that thirteen. And um, it's something a little bit different to the AI. At least we've got to try something. In actual fact, I'm going to put an extra lap of fuel. Yeah, so we're going to put on lap 13, but I'm going to put I've put an extra lap of fuel into the car so I can run on rich fuel for longer, and hopefully that will help me overtake down the straight because I will need that. This is kind of where we'd be expected to start. Just because launch map is good, but we need to learn the gears, so go into each one when you can. We're going to need some work on the brakes, Running so we'll put some energy into them, and warm the tyres as well, please. Warming brakes and tyres. Yeah, it's kind of where we'd be expected to start. Um, ahead of the two Williams, ahead of our teammate, Guan Yu Zhou. Uh, the car is the second worst car on the grid, only a faster than the two Williams especially uh, as we've had the recent upgrades failing. We have got three upgrades, which is chassis, durability, and, uh, and aero, all to come in for the next race. So hopefully we should be a bit more competitive there. And then after that, we've got the power unit upgrade, which isn't coming in for another few weeks. But we do have that to look forward to. and. We have Monaco next, so the aero package will be useful there, but we do have some high-speed tracks coming up after that, where the power unit will definitely come in handy. What I am going to do is switch it to rich for the start. Have a good go at them down into turn one, but we're going to try not to lose our wing. No stupid mistakes this time. I know I said it last time and then I made some stupid mistakes, but I mean it this time. No stupid mistakes. We came 15th in the Dutch Grand Prix. Let's see if we can improve on that this time. We are underway. Here we go. The Spanish Grand Prix. What a start. What a phenomenal start. We're breaking early, though. I don't trust these drivers as far as I can throw them. Right, 
or on the grass, that's not good. That's not good either. They're both hitting me from both sides. Where can I go? I was getting hit from both sides there. There was nowhere I could go. I was in front of both of them. Keep pushing. Let's capitalize on that first lap. Okay, as first laps go, this hasn't been a bad one. Let's try and stick with them now. I'm shocked that I don't have damage of some kind. I had Kvyat and uh, Raikkonen on either side of me. I was just pinballing between them. does however mean I'm a bit out of position in this race and uh, I'm probably going to go backwards oh that's not good I'll definitely go backwards driving like that like I said I'm hoping to kind of learn the track basically during the race so hopefully I'll get better and better as the race goes on but it's, uh, it's a tough one to start with is being enabled this lap we can use DRS when you are within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS right, well, that's going to make me very vulnerable because I'm not within one second of uh, Gasly in front of me I'm off the track there oh it's not going well it's not going well at all run wide there as well Kvyat's going to get up the inside but he's not going to be able to get past Problem is, as you can see, I'm so bad at that. <coughs> Sorry, I'm so bad at that chicane that I just can't get a good run onto the straight, and that leaves me vulnerable. So I'm going to have to use that rich mix and the uh, and the overtake button just to defend. Just try and hold these guys off behind me. Albon's behind me somewhere as well because he had a uh, 10 place grid penalty and started on soft tyres so I'm assuming this isn't good this is not good I'm assuming he's gonna come flying past at some point why are we so wide there oh my god and replay number one can't get the line right through there now. Oh, 
all through there. I need to remember that I can break later. I'm definitely the cork in the bottle at the moment because the guys in front have gone. They've checked out. Better through there. Okay, go ahead is 4.4 seconds. That was better, but still not good. Come on. We could really do with some points in the championship now. I think three in a row without points. The car behind is dropping back by about three tenths a lap. That's encouraging that we're pulling away from uh, from Kvyat at the moment. But we are getting dropped by Gasly and the guys in front. I think that's Albon on the uh, on the mini map behind me, uh, a couple of cars behind. Which, if it is, George Russell's out. Rather of that being someone in front of me, but never mind. These guys are pitting already. Might be about to ruin Bottas's race here, I think, by getting out in front of him. So they must have started on the softs, and Albon's disappeared, yeah. So he must have been on the softs as well. There's Russell. I'm battling with Bottas for position at the moment. I know it's because he pitted early, but still. He's got the inside, I've got the inside for the next turn, and we keep the position. Oh, 
Wow, really? Just gonna shove me out of the way then, yeah? Wow, Bottas, wow. Fiat's got past Bottas there, and that could give me some breathing space, which I'm uh, I'm hoping for. Hopefully, Fiat can hold him up a bit while I uh, do my best to pull away. Bottas is already back past Fiat, so that didn't last long. I think Fiat might have pitted. That wasn't good. I did get a couple of seconds back to uh, Bottas while Fiat was holding him up, but he's uh, understandably already closing straight back in on me again. And he's definitely two stopping, by the way. Because he's gone soft to mediums and there's no way the mediums can go to the end. Ah, oh, that's my bad. There's definite corner cutting. Yeah, so he's definitely two stopping, so that is why I'm defending so hard against him. Because he is, uh, at the moment, this is our actual position, so this is four position, this overtake. If I can keep him behind me, he does have to pit again. Although he will go past me this time. I have no doubt. I'm going defensive. He's following me for the slipstream. In fact, he's not close enough. Which, that is a surprise. Oh no, he's close enough now. Fuel is looking really good. You're managing it well. Yes, we're back past. No, he's done. He's done the over and under. And that is Bottas gone. Kind of ruined his race for those few laps, but he's uh, he won't be coming back to us. Realistically, I was never going to be able to hold him up for the whole race anyway. We're just coming up to a third race distance. We're approaching the pit window. You'll be right, let's go defensive. I may pit a lap early, I may come in at the end of lap 12. Just because there is not much grip left in these tyres now. It does at least give me the chance of an undercut on some of the drivers. We're going to stay out a little bit longer. However, um, I do think that I'm quite far out of position, so I don't think I can undercut anyone. I think as soon as I'm not in their way anymore, they'll probably all speed up quite a bit and do faster times than me on, uh, on fresh tyres. 
that good start really has uh, put me in a flattering position that I don't deserve to be in based on pace alone you're in the top 10 now keep it up go away Magnuson go away I've been in the top 10 for a while I think yeah we're in eighth though definitely take eight if you uh, gave me the option of finishing there take that with both hands at the moment I don't think we are going to be able to get a points finish out of this one but stranger things have happened line through there we'll go one more lap push now we're boxing this lap we're leading our teammate by 9.4 seconds Shouldn't have done the extra lap. Just driving like a boat through that corner. Yeah, definitely should not have done the extra lap. Lose out to Magnussen, who's very much for position. He'll probably box this lap as well. And we'll be stuck behind him. see what we can do on the new set of tyres. Magnussen hasn't pitted so it is our chance to perform the undercut. Go, go, go. 2.5, not a bad stop, Up to speed now. but we've definitely Let's had better. Hard. Jesus Christ. I was going to say hard tyres to the end now, but they won't be as... Uh, they won't be as grippy. So I have to uh, warm them up slowly. And that was not how to do it. That's Kvyat in front of us, but he's on soft, so he must have to pit again. Well, that's good. So he's only three seconds ahead of us, but we don't have to pit again, and he does. As long as I can stay relatively close to him, then uh, we should be in good shape to beat him. Soft will definitely not make it to the end. I think he started on medium, so he must be going medium, soft, soft, I guess. Or maybe medium, soft, medium. 
maybe medium soft hard, I don't really know. That is terrible through there. It's the worst I've been, I think. Who's this? Raikkonen's coming out in front, and he's got hards on, so he is going to the end. I think he was behind me as well, so... Magnussen's out in front of him. We've definitely lost positions on that pit stop. We're down in 19th at the moment. So is Magnuson, so all three of us going to the end. The Haas is actually classed as the better car out of the three of us. And then it's the Alfa Romeo and then it's me and the YouTube racing car. We are sticking with Raikkonen for the moment. Too bad at the final chicane, I could have a chance this time around. We've got to stick close to him. This could be it. Got overtake on, rich fuel mix. DRS, everything, come on. Gone defensive. We're around the outside, but we've got the inside for the next corner, and we are through. Gap to car in front is 2.1 seconds. We are past Raikkonen. Magnussen hasn't exactly disappeared up the road either. The possibility here. Fuel target is plus one. Faster engine modes are available. Okay, Jeff. Saving it for when we need it. We're only at half race distance really, so there's quite a bit of this race left to go. To stand any chance of getting points, definitely there's got, you know, drivers in front have got to have issues basically, they've got to drop out or make mistakes, but we know that there's some that are going to be pitting again. does give me a bit of hope. Oh, that doesn't. Oh, no. Oh, it's, it's all over the place. What? Ah, oh, don't like having to do replays, but it's also not going to be much fun if I'm just cruising around at the back.
Now there's the penalty for taking the replay though, I changed down one too many gears and had a really bad run through that first turn. And I think all the time I'm not making mistakes. Magnuson isn't really quicker than me. I think if anything, I'm quicker than him when I'm not making mistakes. It's the mistakes that are the problem, though. Albon's in the pit up ahead as well. And we're past him. The gap to the car ahead is currently two seconds. Well, this is good. So Ricardo's out behind Magnus, and hopefully they'll fight, and I'll be able to catch them. Two cars fighting with each other will slow each other down. In order to slow each other down, I do need them to actually fight rather than Ricardo just nicely following Magnussen like he's doing at the moment. That wasn't good. Oh no! Raikkonen's going to come past me here if I'm not careful. Completely put off by Norris there. And they're all past me. I'll firm that. Completely my fault. I got completely put off by Norris coming. Oh, I'm not firming that. Ah, this car. I got completely put off by Norris coming out of the uh, pits in front of me. Past Albon. You made it look easy. Well, it certainly wasn't easy, Jeff. Oh, come on, why has it done that then? I've taken that corner the exact same way as I've taken it every other time and it's not done that before. Jesus Christ. I hate this game sometimes.
how how is that possible how does he have that much grip on the inside absolute piss take this game isn't it Sorry, boys. That was a little bit dirty, I'm not going to lie, but... Robin's racing, as they say in NASCAR. They definitely don't say it in Formula One. Our gap to the car in front is 3.1 seconds. Probably not going to be able to catch him then. We're leading our team oh, signs anyway. I'm definitely not going to be able to catch him. No. Why? All right. Note to self: go wider at turn two. Oh, what's happened there? It just stopped turning. It was like the controller disconnected or something. The car just stopped turning right. Perez is past Raikkonen and now. That means he's going to be past me in no time at all. But then when I go half an inch wider, I end up running wide on the uh, turn, so what can I do? Hamilton's about to lap me. He's not far behind. He's just set the fastest lap there, so he's not far away from lapping me. Kind of chop Perez's nose off there in the final corner to stop him getting the run on me. It was so bad through the uh, chicane again. There's still ten laps to go, but it's not been a uh, not been a great race for me. Not driven. Brutal brilliantly rail 
and uh, and uh, yeah, it's just not. I don't know the track very well, so I kind of hoped I'd just get better and better as I kind of went on. I didn't get much chance to practice on a dry track. But as it turns out, I've probably driven worse, in all honesty, after the pit stop than I did before it. There's been a few overtakes. Which is better than nothing this time they're going to get me. Yeah. Not much I can do to defend that. Not after, not after that final corner that I had. Fucking Albon out of nowhere, trying to fucking stick his nose in, get involved. But tyre condition's still looking good at least. Ten seconds ahead of Guan Yu Zhou, that's when you know it's not been a good race. No disrespect to Guan Yu, of course. Let's try not to mess it up through the final corner this time and maybe I'll have a chance down the home straight. No, I just got no grip through there. I don't know how these guys are so fast through there every single time. I knew that corner was going to be the issue though, even going into going into the race, I said in qualifying, that corner, that final chicane, penultimate corner, was always going to be the issue just because I, ca I can't do it and it's so crucial to get in the good run down the home straight that you saw how much he pulled away, yeah there goes Albon, there's no point fighting that. Oh, and that's why there's no point fighting it. Because he's just going to block me and I get damaged anyway.
This time he's hit me. Instead of going past me. Which has actually kept him behind me. I will say though, we've been a lot faster than than, than, uh, than the likes of Raikkonen. If you look at him on the, he's 15.7 seconds behind me in the Alfa Romeo. And again, they're kind of like close rivals with myself. Um, although this weekend they've got the slightly better car in terms of uh, in terms of research and development upgrades. Their car is slightly stronger than mine, however, with 17 and a half seconds ahead now, he must have some kind of damage actually. For him to be dropping back that quickly, he's got to have damage, surely. Because it was only, what, 10 laps ago that I went past him, maybe not even that. Passed him when I first came out of the pits, and then I made that stupid mistake when uh, Norris came out and let him back past. And then I came back past him and Perez and uh, Albon. Perez has then come back past me and cleared off. Albon's coming past me any minute. And he's a little bit further back at the moment. But yeah, it can't have been that long ago that Raikkonen was up with us. That's a little bit better through there. It's still not good, not by any stretch of the imagination, but it's better than it was. Perez somehow isn't disappearing off into the distance as well. He's kind of... He's not within striking distance, don't get me wrong. He's three seconds clear of me, but he's not hes not just buggered off. Which is what I thought he would. Much like Bottas did in the first stint. When he pitted uh, and came out of the pits when I hadn't pitted yet. And I was on the mediums. Yeah, deserved that. good thing is, if uh, Hamilton comes past me, that does give me an extra, well, it means I'm doing one less lap, so it does mean I'll just whack it into Rich pretty much for the rest of the race, I would have thought. Okay, you're creating and try and catch Perez. 
Albon slowed down and let Hamilton pass. So Hamilton's going to win yet another race. I wasn't close enough to get DRS on him. But hopefully he's going to catch Perez. Perez is going to have to... Damn. Hurry up and go past them. Jesus Christ. And that's put Albon right on me. There's only one lap of fuel remaining. Yeah, there's only half a lap of my race remaining, mate. Across the line for 14th. Not good. Right, but Take care of the we made up five way. positions on where we started, so that's not too bad. It's better than we did in the last last race. Our main rival got driver of the day. Great. I expect that probably means he got points as well. What a special race it was. Anthony, tell me, what was it that helped them achieve this success? Well, this was a real team victory. They put together a solid strategy to the... Yeah, Mercedes yeah, yeah. are on top form once again after an excellent race weekend. It's great to see them... Mercedes are always on top again. form. No Bottas up there, though, as you can see. I did kind of bugger up his race. And after this round of the World Championship... Here's how things look in the driver's table. It's a great result for Lewis Hamilton, who moves further ahead at the top of the table. Now, let's discuss, Ant. Who would you say is a contender for driver of the day? Let's move on to the constructors. Mercedes continue oh, to extend... Fuck you, Ant. <laughs> you didn't get a word in edgeways. ...is Alfa Romeo, whose good result moves them further up the championship. Well, Ant, an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one. I don't think Ant's actually there. I, th I think Ant's gone home early. He's just pretending he's still there so he can talk to someone. Okay, so we finished 14th. Guan Yu Zhou finishes 17th from 21st on the grid, so that's not too bad. He got Raikkonen in the end. So Raikkonen dropped back a couple more positions. Kvyat and Guan Yu Zhou both got him, so I reckon Raikkonen must have had damage. Guan Yu Zhou's best lap was only 123 flat. But he did beat Giovinazzi. Uh, Grosjean, who two stopped, we saw him on soft tyres at the beginning when I shot past him, and uh, Latifi, who was rock bottom, and obviously George Russell with the early DNF. Uh, Perez, to be fair, we lapped not too far away from Perez's times uh, for a few laps towards the end there, um, up until Hamilton came past us and uh, we had to kind of get out of the way. We were. Um, yeah, we were doing pretty well to keep with Perez. So if I hadn't made that big mistake, I might have been up there near Norris and Sainz, but then look at their fastest laps. They were a lot quicker than mine. 
So I doubt I could have stuck with them. Magnuson, I think I certainly could have stuck with. So it's annoying. I don't think we'd have got points uh, regardless. I'm just, I'm just not good enough at this track. Pierre Gasly finished up in seventh. Ugh, that's depressing. But look at his best lap time. Slower than mine. But that's because he started 12th. Me starting down in uh, 18th place had a uh, had a big impact on me there. Potas finished fifth in the end. Did have the fastest lap of the race. But did finish fifth and a long way behind that top four. And uh, I can't think what could have possibly happened to Bottas to put him so far behind. Let's look at the standings. I drop down to 12th. Esteban Ocon moves in front of me. Pierre Gazzi is only one point behind me now. Ooh. Lewis Hamilton still top, obviously. Pulling a little bit further ahead of uh, Valtteri Bottas. A bit further down. Still a bunch of drivers with no points. Including my teammate, Guan Yu Zhou. We look at the constructor standings. Huss and Williams still yet to score points. I thought Haas might have scored points in that one because Magnussen was so far up. And that's probably their best chance so far, but wasn't to be. Alfa Romeo is still with only the one point. But it's us on seven. Level with Alfa Tauri now. So they are clearly our main rivals not only is my rival from that team Pierre Gasly but also that's dead level with us in the constructor standings obviously we're a long way behind the others now the only ones that we could realistically catch in the constructors championships McLaren if we buck our ideas up a bit I don't think Racing Point and Renault are catchable for us now not unless we really develop the car well over the coming races as I say, we should really jump up that leaderboard for performance for the next race um, because we've got three upgrades coming. The downside is I believe the next race is Monaco where I will not be good. Expect a lot of replays. I'll do my best not to, not to have to use them too much, but I probably will do. Anyway, that is it for the Spanish Grand Prix. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit the DRS on the like button and subscribe. Hit the bell icon as well uh, to keep updated with the rest of the races throughout the season. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.